friends, and welcome to Drawing Furry Friends of the Saints. In this episode, we will be drawing Olette, the woodpecker who was friends with St. Paisios. St. Paisios was a monk who lived in a monastery on Mount Athos in Greece. He loved spending time outside and had many animal friends. One of his very special friends was a woodpecker named Olette. Every day, St. Paisios would call for Olette, and he would faithfully fly to St. Paisios. While the other birds would eat the food that St. Paisios brought, Olette would sit and listen to the saint talk. Eventually, St. Paisios would remind him that he needed to eat. Even on days when Olette had already eaten and didn't need the extra food, he would come to visit and spend time with his friend. Now, before we begin our drawing, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, a black or dark colored marker, and whatever else you would like to color and finish your drawing. If at any point in the video you need to catch up, don't be afraid to pause and then start again when you are ready. Since we are drawing a woodpecker, let's begin by drawing the edge of a tree trunk. A little ways in from the left side of the paper, draw a bumpy line from the top of your paper to the bottom. Now let's begin our woodpecker. About halfway down the tree trunk, draw an oval shape tilted a little to the left, like this. From the bottom of the oval, draw a diagonal line out and then curve it back in to make his tail. Next, let's add his wing. A little ways down from the top of your oval, draw a curved line that is parallel to the left side of the oval, and then curve upwards to connect it to the other side. Moving to the top of the oval, let's draw his head. Starting on the right side, draw a straight line up and then curve it around to make the top of his head. Continue to curve the line around a little more and then draw a straight line down to connect the head to the body. Time to give our woodpecker a beak. Since he is facing the tree, let's draw a diagonal line starting a little ways inside his head and ending a little over your tree trunk line. This will be the middle of his beak. Next, let's add a curved line from the top of the beak line you drew to the side of his head, just like this. Do the same thing under his beak line. To finish his beak, add diagonal lines connecting the tip of his beak to the curved lines you just drew. Now let's give this bird his sight. To the right of his beak, draw a small vertical line down and then a curved line across to make his happy little eye. Male woodpeckers often have red crests on the tops of their heads, so let's draw a curved line a little ways in from the top of the head to show where his crest will be. On the side of his head, draw a zigzag line to finish his crest. Moving down, let's add his feet. From the middle of his belly, draw a loop out and around. From the tip of that bump you just drew, draw a diagonal line to the tree trunk. Add a second parallel line to finish his leg. For his feet, draw two pointy toes in the shape of a V, like this. Add little points on the ends for his nails. Since he is holding onto a tree by his feet, let's add a second leg behind his first. A little ways up from the first bump you drew, Draw another loop. Add two parallel lines to show his leg. This time we won't add his other foot because it is on the other side of the tree. Finally, from the tip of his beak, draw a circle or an oval shape to show a hole in the tree where the woodpecker is pecking. Now we need to erase the extra lines that we don't need. I've made these red to make it easier for you to see. Pause the video at this point if you need a little more time to erase. Before we begin coloring, let's add one more curved line at the top of his wing and several short little lines at the base of his crest. Now, before you start coloring, if you decide you'd like to trace over your lines with a black marker, you are welcome to do so, but it's not necessary. 
you can finish your drawing using whatever art supplies you'd like to color in your woodpecker. If you have time, I'd invite you to search for pictures of woodpeckers online to see the beautiful colors and patterns that God has given them. And just like that, you've drawn Olette, the woodpecker who was friends with St. Paisios. Thanks for drawing with me today. I hope you're inspired to continue drawing furry friends of the saints. May the Lord bless you and keep you always.